This comes just one day after the man who hired Talbot resigned. Former Norfolk City Manager Dr. Chip Filer faced criticism for straying from the pool of candidates to hire Talbot instead of someone recommended by an outside search firm. And now Filer's walking away from the city after four years, and it didn't take long to find his replacement. Angelique Karen talks in the studio after speaking with community leaders on this decision. It's a shakeup in local government some in Norfolk saw coming. Perhaps what people didn't expect is the swift appointment of Deputy City Manager Pat Roberts as the new city manager. It's for that reason presidents of civic leagues I spoke with are staying optimistic. Mayor Kenny Alexander praises Dr. Chip Filer and his work in Norfolk over the last four years. He describes Filer's departure as a mutual separation. My reaction more was who they replaced him with, which is Patrick Roberts which I was just elated with. City Council selected familiar face Deputy City Manager Pat Roberts to take over as city manager. Leela Van, president of Downtown Norfolk Civic League, says Roberts has addressed their organization's concerns and spoken with them about public safety initiatives in the past. Just a huge advocate of having increased police presence, having the uh, surveillance cameras on the street and in the garages. Next, Van tells me the group wants to work with Roberts on their top priority, a grocery store downtown. Carolyn Latham leads the old Huntersville Civic League. We want a safe, growing, healthy community. Latham says it'll be key to work with the new city manager on priorities like creating safe, clean, walkable streets, improving connectivity, and upgrading recreation services. We don't want nobody to do it for us. We want them just to do it with us. According to Robert's online bio, he has more than two decades of experience in local government, including a stint in Suffolk. He served as city manager there from 2015 to 2020. And based on the new severance agreement, Filer walks away from his role in Norfolk with a year's pay and with health insurance.